Yo, what's up in the world? Name's Raheem Flowers. And I know it's been a minute. I haven't been proactively making videos. And to be perfectly honest, I don't have any incentive to be making videos back to back because cultural Marxist Jew with the J O O tube keeps tampering with my content and the amount of views I get on some shadow banning, as I stated in my previous video. So, I will give you all quality work, but I'm not going to proactively make videos. But I will be giving y'all quality work when I make videos here and there. And this will be, it's essentially the series of Deeper Than These Rap Niggas, but this video is its own entity in a sense. It's about the self-snitching culture in the so-called black community. And how that's constantly perpetuated and encouraged and a lot of these rappers don't even see the paradox slash irony behind their own subconscious actions so using g herbo and casanova as good frame of references but this isn't only about them that's this transcends their circumstance with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. But yeah, without any further ado, I'm gonna give you all production. <laughs> Mama's coming. As you already know, I'm fighting serious charges right now. But um, I'm innocent. That's one. Two, I've been fighting my whole life, so I'll get through this. But just understand how they can get you jammed up. You don't know nobody, you ain't got nothing to do with nothing, they still get you jammed up. Rappers, we are a target. Just be careful out there, watch who you associate with, watch who people bring you around. And I'll see y'all soon, God willing. You know, whether you snitch to the feds or you snitch to random house, you know, snitching is snitching. To delve into the nature of why are people on YouTube talking about people killing each other? And even bigger, why are people who kill each other and talk about killing each other allowed to sell their products by major corporations? In fact, the largest corporations in the world, Alphabet, which is Google and YouTube, uh, Apple, etc. I got a lot of fucking work on a lot of these guys. You feel me? He's not being that one. fucking black. On your money, he ain't the only one. I got a lot of work for a lot of you guys. A lot of you bitch ass niggas. Even my homie, homie beat the body you niggas trying to tell. You niggas trying to tell. Y'all see that? Oh, bro, y'all see this shit? You niggas trying to tell. Why is you telling, Billy? Come on, stop playing. You know you told, bro. On your money, you know you told, bro. Why you do that, G? You ain't gangsta, bro. <laughs> you know I came up here uh, to tell on the Harvest Street Crips. Uh, that they are the ones responsible for the violence over there on the south side. That they the ones getting the little kids, 16, 17, 18, 19 year old guns. Uh, they the ones that's printing up uh, the X pills with the fentanyl pills. Uh, so I came up here to tell on them. 
Uh, they need to be eradicated and removed off our streets. How is it these niggas, the Crippin' Bloods, they go tell me that I can't speak on their block. They go tell me I can't speak on the Crips and Blood. So they come to my live video threatening me, telling me what I can't say, and all of a sudden they start typing threats. Where you at, bitch ass nigga? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna see you. So nigga, that nigga told me he don't care about me going to the laws. He coming to get me. That nigga tried to call me this morning. Hey, man, nigga, I better go to the police. Last time a nigga done me like this here, and I, and I tried to responded, I ended up in jail with a felony, man, with a aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, man, and so the best thing to do, I'm going to go notify the police. How is it that, as a community activist, I done went down to City Hall and I done addressed the mayor and everybody about the violence. I'm on social media talking to my people about the violence, and all of a sudden, here come the Crips and Bloods, guys like Vidal and Little Evil and them, they want to come to Truman Street Bloods and the, and the, and the 40, 43rd Harvest Street Gangster Crips coming and tell me, what I can and what I can't speak on, and they the ones causing the violence. They the ones getting them kids the guns. Hard. Bad white. Yeah, so uh, if you saw the guys who shot at you, you think you'd shoot them now? Vlad, what the fuck is you talking about, Vlad? What you talking about, Vlad? See, that's what I'm saying. Once, you, once the person that you're talking to say some weird shit, now it's a different conversation. Whoa, 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 what you talking about? You get what I'm saying? Like, I could talk to a person that's not in the same... Oh, why, yeah, you say some funny shit, this whole, whole, like, why he, you know what I mean, he just have a smooth transition into the cop question, that's what niggas don't understand, that's, that's how, let me break down Vlad for you, he is not a cop, he does not work for the police department, but they will and do use his information, it's on YouTube, so all he got to do is ask the proper questions that they could bring up in a court of law. Duh. That's it. He said right here on Vlad TV. So, so what Vlad is going to do is he's going to sprinkle your questions with glitter. That's the icing. It's really about the cake. But he's going to put icing and sprinkles on your shit so you don't know. You're like, oh, it's a cake. Let me eat. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yeah, so where you from? <laughs> How's it out there living in Brooklyn? That's the sprinkles. That's the ice. And you're like, oh, all right, this nigga. Cool. Yeah, you got shot once. Yeah, I got shot, man. Them niggas caught me slipping. Then he go back. So what's it like living in Brooklyn? So you're not really paying attention. You feel me? You eating a cake right now. You're just talking. You know what I mean? Then he start. Then he slipping a quick little. I mean, you have your gun with you? You know, us you rappers got to keep your gun with you. Yeah, I have my gun with you. You know me. I'm on my. Indictment one. Possession of a weapon. Possession of a weapon. But then he going to clean it back up. He going to go backwards. I mean, it's tough in them streets of Brooklyn, you know. So I, I can understand why you have a gun. It's tough in Brooklyn. It's tough. I mean, but have you ever done anything that would make them people want to hurt you? <laughs> you know me and the homies be sly and then we be... I'm going to read from indictment number 77C645334. In correlation with case number 77E, E, F, F, E, I, O, U. I ain't got time for that shit. 